It's your boy Lotto 7, and I just skipped Claire with the Progress Report. Wow. The Progress Report. All right, what's going on? It's your girl, Lala Shepard. This is a new episode of Skipping Class presented by the Progress Report. You know, we got Lotto Savage, and this is his first time in this studio. Yes. Because Lotto been fucking with us. Um, the first time that me and you met was at Blog's video shoot for work, which you on 21 Savage. Right. That was 2015. It's been a long time. And then after that, we did like two interviews, and uh, but we always been locked in. So how you been? Man, I've been great. Good. I've been great. God been blessing me to still be here to do what I do. So hey, man. it's a blessing for that. So for sure. Cause matter of fact, I reached out to you like maybe two years ago. I was in your DMs. I was hounding you. I'm like, man, let's do another interview. But I, I just think I ain't been my Instagram. You know, I've been locked out of it for like four years now. Got you. Okay, cause I definitely was on your ass, but I'm like, I've been locked out. Somebody hacked me, and I ain't been able to get back in. Okay. And uh, deleted all my pictures. All the type of stuff going on with the Instagram. So yeah. Been off of oh, trust me. I know. We got a lot of stuff. But I got a new Instagram, though. I'll get shot here, all that out before we leave. Yeah, no, no, no. We're going to make sure we get that for sure. Um, So where have you been? Fans might want to know. Man, I've been in the house. I ain't even going to lie. I've been in the house being a father. That's hard. Right. And, um, you know, just taking on my responsibility, basically. That's what I've been doing. And I got out of the deal with basically all the records. So got you. I've got you. been in the house, you know, just working on myself. I respect that, man. Um, now I remember when we did our last interview, you was like, the rap, the rap game is weird. And to me now, it's like super weird. Yeah. <laughs> so how do you feel about just everything now? What made you want to come back? I feel like now the rap game is open Okay. for me in, in the city that I'm in. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I feel like the roles are open. Ain't nobody out here right now doing, you know, putting it out there like they need to. I feel that. So I feel like I'm the right person to do it right now. So that's okay. why I pop back out. Period. And I was going to ask you, like, what's your thoughts on the Atlanta music scene, in your opinion, anyway? I love it because it's an open scene for me to come in and do what I can do. So I love the scene in Atlanta. I love all the, you know, the new artists that's coming out of Atlanta. Everybody that's doing their thing. I support anybody that's doing their thing. You know what I'm saying? I've never been the person that downplay anybody. Nah, that's anybody. facts. So, like, when it comes to Atlanta and the music, I feel like I could just, you know, I could bring back whatever people feel like is missing from Atlanta. Mm. That's what I feel like. I, I love that. I mean, because you definitely, like, you had the three projects that went crazy. You know, you did the, the Lotto Kruger, the yeah. Don Slaughter 2, the yeah. Georgia Lottery. Like, yeah, that it, was the last one. The yep, last lottery. just staying in folks' faces. So, I mean, we definitely know the music there. Like, you got a few songs that, shit, to this day still go crazy. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, so, but, you know, like, this is a new, this is a new Lotto, so it's mm. going to be more so, like, a different me type of Lotto. Got you. You know what I'm saying? But it's back to unfinished business. That we, that's the mid tape. Unfinished business. I like yeah, that. Featuring DJ Cut, though. Salute I love my plug. DJs, man. Yeah, I love my plug. Hell yeah. Salute Capo, too. For sure. For Salute sure. the guys, man. Um. So, okay. Name meeting. Lotto Savage. How did you get it? Be honest, I got the name Lotto Savage from Lotto. I already had the name. And Savage, when I got with. 21 then i you know i just put the savage with it so i just like look i know you guys are tuned into the episode but i need you to like and subscribe to our channel right now let's go like my name lotto savage because really i didn't supposed to be a rapper <laughs> honestly i really was just like a hype man on something like that or just like a partner to a partner who was a rapper you know what i'm saying so really it wasn't my dream at the beginning it's something that i just took upon being around somebody watching them do their thing First of all, salute to you for being just just real. You know what I mean? <laughs> and you always been so solid and real, so nah. I, I respect that. Right. Um, my second question, just from that though, like, so do people ever confuse your name with the female rapper Lotto? Like, when um, they say Lotto, Lotto. I don't even know to be honest. I okay. can't even answer that question because, like, shout out, shout out to Lotto. Of course. The female artist. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying, but me, I I be so more so into my own shell and. Like into myself so much that I don't really be, you know what I'm saying, hearing or on the radio or anybody's opinion, I don't care. Like somebody say something to me, I'm not gonna take that and run with it. Cause you know what? Opinion, everybody got one. Feel me? So if you wanna know that, you'll have to go get me and her together 
and then ask us that we both both us can answer the question. Got you. That'll be the right way to do it. You know what I'm saying? I respect it. I can't it. speak on that. I don't know nothing about it. No, I respect it, man. Um, so what's your relationship like with Twenty One Savage now? That's my brother. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, you know, like I said, I be in my own shell. I, I be wanting to do my own thing. I don't want to be, you know, no burden or I don't want to be no liability to nobody. You feel me? 100%. If I got my own two feet and I can get out here and do this 24, that's all you get. So if you wake up the next day, you could try it again. So that's how I look at it. But that's my brother. If I ask him or pull up on him or see him, it's love. It's always going to be love because it ain't never going to be nothing else. Love that. For sure. Why didn't you ever sign a slider game? Uh, cause I at that time when I got in the game, I had an opportunity. Gotcha. And it was like I went to little man and asked him, like, hey, why are these folks trying to do this? And you know what he asked me, he said, Hey, is you in this for the money or is you in this to change your life? Mm. And I said, I'm in it for the money. And he was like, All right. He like <laughs> They say they gonna do it. Well, wow, let them do it. You feel me? Yeah. But me not realizing what he was telling me at that time, I didn't understand. That's fair. You feel me? I didn't see the vision he already had. You know what I'm saying? I was chasing my own vision, really chasing somebody else's dream at that time. Type Cause shit. like I said, I wasn't no rapper. You feel what I'm saying? I was just around somebody who was doing it. Type shit. So it's just like, okay, yeah, this opportunity. I'm looking at it like that, not thinking about. It. And if I'm really trying to change my life, yeah, it changed my life, but it changed, but it could have, like, if I would have stayed with what I had going on, no telling where I'd be right now, you feel me? So now it's just like, I'm coming back from it. I'm like trying to, you know what I'm saying? I got to grind on my own to see how it really is to be out here, you feel me, in this field, you know what I'm 100%. saying? 100%. So it's like, shout out to my brother for all the wisdom that he gave me at that time that I didn't understand. That's real shit. But now I know, you feel me? So now it's like, I don't, I'm going to be my own CEO. I'm going to be my own artist. You know what I'm saying? I want to sign folks. I want to, you know what I'm saying? I want to do make, pe make, make people have, like, dreams come true, too. I want to be that type of person. You feel me? In the right way, though. I don't want to be like how Basic Loader did me. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Basic Loader, though. They showed me. I ain't even going to say they did me. Mm -hmm. They showed me. They gave me the game and the opportunity. Everything I learned from them, it was a learning process for me to know the stuff I know now. So when I want to yeah. be in that position, I know how to handle it. That's real. And, you know, like you said, salute to Bases Loaded. Cause yeah, for sure. I ain't going to downplay them. Salute them. You salute nephew, them they changed also, my life. It was, yeah, they, they changed the lineup my life. was crazy. Yes, yeah, more definitely. So, yeah. so how much did you sign for when you signed with them? and $5,000. Okay, you signed with them for five, okay. <laughs> Five thousand dollars. Okay. That's real. And you know what? I was signing Epic in what sixty days, ninety days at the most. Yeah. Epic two hundred fifty thousand dollars for trapping that. Me not knowing though, I you know yeah. what I'm saying. So you ain't see that. No, I only got thirty thousand out of that money. Cause I, I ain't had no lawyer. To trap to that. I ain't know nothing about the music game. I didn't know. You feel me? I, I was getting signed for. A single deal, I ain't know that. You know what I'm saying? It's stuff I ain't know because I ain't get the full contract on what I was doing. So like I said, it, sometimes you have to go through stuff to realize what you're doing and where you want to go with it. You feel yeah, me? yeah. So that was a learning experience for me. You know what I'm saying? To know what I know right now. You feel me? Nah, that's real. Uh, the other song man, that y'all had that Wall song, that's still my shit. Yeah, Wall see, <laughs> on, I ain't get no money out there neither. Really? No money out them out them songs. Like when it comes to the mm. spins and all that, only money I got was like show money and got then the thirty thousand that they gave me. Yeah. That was it. You feel me? So. What was, What did the show money look like for you at the peak? Oh, uh, I was getting like what about thirty five hundred a show. Okay. Hell yeah. You feel me? I was getting like 3500 a show. Hell yeah. And I was booked up for like two yeah. three years. I know. So, you know what I'm saying? It was money, but it wasn't, it wasn't the money that I feel like I pulled it got. I feel you. You know what I'm saying? I feel like everybody get burnt in, in the music business. Yeah. You have to, though. Kinda, <laughs> it cool, though. Because you appreciate yeah. shit. So it's kind of like, it's, it's like a rights of passage. Cool. It's like, more definitely cool. Type shit. It's more definitely cool. So with just money management, like, how did you do in terms of, like, just with that money that you was making? Did you... Man, I was blowing it. Okay. I ain't even gonna lie. I respect that. I was that. blowing it. Man, I went to the concert, Travis Scott, Rihanna, tour, right? They came here. I'm gonna tell you what I did. <laughs> 
go there with 60,000 on me now. I, I'm going to the concert like this. I'm finna perform. 60,000 on me. Going there, lean. I'm I'm on the lean. I'm I'm on the drugs bad. You feel me? Mm. I'm on the drugs bad because I'm thinking like this how you supposed to live. You feel me? When you doing the rap, that's real. You know what I'm saying? You go with your cover lean and you try. I'm really trying to fit in. Type shit. In this industry with these people listening to you know what I'm saying, thinking this how stuff go, but it don't. But I go to the concert, perform. You feel me? Do all this right. I had the opportunity, you know what I'm saying, to shout out to Travis Scott. Yeah. He was the first person that really was like, you know what I'm saying, put the, the Trap It Out song out there. Wow. People don't know that Travis Scott had, was going around playing this for me, bro, because he heard it at a show, and then he started putting it on his show. Like, he was going on concert, so he was playing it like, when he go on their break, you know how they go on whatever breaks, and they play a little song, and then they come back out for the set. Yeah, yeah. He was doing that for me. Then boom, you got he put me on the tour with him and Rihanna. You know what I'm saying? When they come to Atlanta, let me go on. I go there. So I'm gonna tell you, I go with all this. Going there, doing all that, get what? Do my little performing. Get what I do after it. I'm dip. scared. I dip. I dip. We go back to the hood, the kick it, to to be around everybody, you know what I'm saying? Trying to live in that light. Like, you know what I'm saying? Y'all done missed out on the whole opportunity, man. This man wanted me to stay there with him. And we were going to go where we were going to go. Yeah. You feel me? And it was going to be that. Type shit. Yeah. But guess what? It went into something else. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I went to this way. We, that way. That, that just my opportunity that I messed up with somebody, a relationship that I could have built. You feel what I'm saying? With yeah. a person. But I didn't take the time to because I ain't know. I wasn't thinking about it. That's real. You know what I'm saying? But like you have to be aware of what you're doing when you in the industry and knowing when people give you opportunities and bring you in on something they got going in, they they mess it with you. So you have to show that same, reciprocate that same energy back to those people. You know 100%. what I'm saying? My energy went like that. My energy was like, oh, I'm finna go over yeah. there. Yeah. You, you can't be like that. You know what I'm saying? Type you shit. have to be a type of person that going, you know, just uh, be aware of who you're around and the opportunity you get. Like this, you. like you calling me here for Hell the energy. Yeah. Be aware I, of this. Be aware listen, of the people around. You know, I, I respect think, it. You gotta thank people for stuff like this. I respect it, man. <laughs> again, accountability. And again, every, from day one, though, you've always been silent. Like, I've never got any weird energy from you. So, <laughs> I love, thank, thank you, Imani. So I, I yes, love thank that. You so much. Your accountability, your self awareness. Like, yeah. that shit, that shit is definitely commendable. That's real. You're not sugarcoating nothing. No. I respect the fuck out of that. <laughs> now, let me ask you is that the same dagger? Yeah. That's the same knife. Yeah, I okay. got one. That's the okay, the twenty one knife. Yeah, I got one. What what was your? Clothes? I got SG on the side of mine though. What's the difference? I just got a dagger. Slider game, okay. And a, yeah, it's gotcha. SG. <laughs> so let me ask you. So like when all that shit was just like the it's a knife thing was going on. Now nah, see, really, this actually for somebody. It's a sentimental thing behind it though. The yeah, brother. the brother, right? Right. Okay. So that's why they got in remembrance of him, and the only reason why I got it. Because I went around his family, his mama, his yeah, brothers. Yeah. I stayed at their house. Life shit. You feel me? I slept in. He wasn't there, but I slept in the house, you know what I'm saying, around his family. So that's why I got that's it. That's love. In, in remembrance of him. Even though I didn't meet him. Actually. Respect. Say, man, you feel me? I met his family. I met his mama. met his baby brother. His other baby brother. Yeah, you feel yeah. me? The people that he, he loved. The people that he was around. So that's why I got it. For sure. That's silent, man. Yeah. That's silent. So, okay, gr like before becoming a rapper, what did you see yourself doing? Uh, running the streets of Atlanta, just doing, you know, what kids doing in them. Type shit. Yeah. What part of Atlanta? I'm from the SWAT, Camden Road, Edison, mm. Edison Court, Zone 4. Zone 4. Yeah, people think I'm from the east side. Zone yeah. Six. But no, shout out to the city. They love me, but I'm from Zone 4. Got you. Got you. Got you. Um, so let's talk about the other song too, man. The 30 with Lil Yachty. That was another 30, one. yeah. That was another one, man. That was another opportunity that I ain't lock in like I needed to. Gotcha. Because I was so high on my high horse. Like, who is this guy? You feel me? Mm -hmm. Old time, I ain't knowing he him. You know That's what I'm it. saying? Because I'm just thinking off of looking at the appearance and how people be coming. You feel me? You can't do that. You can't be judgmental. You got to be. You know what I'm saying? Able to be around somebody and accept them for who they are. 100%. Doing music with them and just be genuine. 
Cause it'd be a lot of fake stuff going on, so that make people be like, "Oh, the industry fake." Yeah. No, it's not. It's just the love that the the, mm. the energy that they giving you is is is, is you are right, you were you giving them something that make you feel that way. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Cause you shouldn't feel like if you coming into some they got some dealing with business, you shouldn't feel any type of way about nobody. Why I'm judging anybody in the room? No, I ain't doing that. We can't hear the work. So that was literally the, like my mindset went on the right thing. I me? respect that though. Sometimes you gotta, you gotta, you know, go back and God to take everything away from you to get it right back to you. But ten times fold, you know what I'm saying? He gave me that stuff to, for me to experience, and not for me to go to the bottom. For me to go to the bottom to come back to the top to be on the top. You feel me? So, yeah, for sure. How did you teach yourself how to rap? And I know back then well, he was freestyling. Okay. Being around him. Yeah. Just listening to him. He the one who first put me on the song. Whoa. I mean, on Dirty K. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, the first yeah, yeah. Song I ever did. But, like, he helped me when mm -hmm. we did it. I might say something. He like, nah, say this, say that, say this, say that. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, he a big part of my upcoming in this. You feel me? If it went oh. for him... You not when be doing it. You get what I'm saying? Cause like I learned everything from him. That's, you know that's solid. Sitting right there with him while he doing it, listening to him on Instagram, just in my phone. And he might say like, man, that nigga always on Instagram. He might say that in a song. Hmm. Like nigga Lotto always on Instagram. At the beginning of the song, you yeah. feel? Just, that's what I did. So I just used to be sitting right there listening. What's your relationship look like with uh, Low Solo then now? No, y'all was telling Lodi. us. Yeah, that's my brother. I ain't I ain't talked to Loso in a minute, but him and my brother be my my real brother be connecting. Like they play on the video game. Got again. you. So yeah, yeah. He be connected with my brother on a daily basis. For sure. Um, just your thoughts on the YFN Lucci situation? I know y'all was real close at one point in time. YFN Lucci, I feel like you know I I can't speak on nobody being. I don't know what the, what they saying on the TVs and all the internet stuff because I don't really be into that. You yeah. Know what I'm saying. I don't know. I like just free thug, free, free Lucha, free anybody that, you know, that's, I don't want nobody a lot of put Yeah, like yeah. That. Especially not no men who got family and kids to take care of. A hundred percent. I don't know nothing about their personal stuff. Don't want to know. I ain't into that. You know what I'm saying? Free everybody though. That's for sure. That's what we going to say. Lucha, that my guy did music with him. He yeah. did his stuff for me for free. Yeah. And get what? I respect Lucha. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, what? Well, I respect the old two. They're my brother. So, you know, we just going to leave that where it need to be. 100%. 100%, man. <laughs> and we got to talk about Lil' Keith. Uh, yeah, R. man. Keith, no man. So, you know, tell me just when you heard the news and just your thoughts on everything regarding him. Yeah, when I heard the news, I ain't going to lie. I It's like, I don't know how I feel. I didn't, I felt like, okay, the way they, you know, that I know that, you know it, he whatever he it was just a transition i feel like because he you know he was practicing europe he was yeah. in the europe culture so it's a lot of stuff that he already knew about that he knew that you know he he it'd be stuff that we know that we can't really speak on but mm -hmm. it's just like we be knowing some stuff so like whatever happened you know what i'm saying it was already in his divine timing mm -hmm. in life for him to you know come and do what he did to, to create that 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 uh what can i say that 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 wealth for his family yeah you know what i'm saying and then like we have to look at stuff like this just look at life like this right when people die in your family you know what that be it'd be a sacrifice for your family mm -hmm. to keep them going to keep the people in your family going you know what i'm saying because certain people in your family have to pass away to go to the other side to in order for you to get over there. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Like certain people have to like sacrifice themselves. Like my dad and my uncle died. My uncle died at 50. My daddy died at 60. You see, my daddy died what a year or two years ago. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So my daddy just died. His birthday was like on the second of September, but it's like he had to go. Cause I got six kids on my I, myself. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And he got six kids. He had six kids. You feel me? All us still here thriving. You know what I'm saying? Guess what? He had to go for his kids to. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? He had to go like that. But get what? He had to. Cause get what? I'm still out here doing what I'm doing, thriving. So 
Like, when it comes to death, just look at it like that. You know what I'm saying? When somebody die. They passing away for you to keep going, for your family to keep going, for the kids to keep going, the nieces and the nephews, the uncles and the aunties. They ain't, cause all y'all got the same bloodline. So it's all in the family. You That's get what it. I'm saying? Yeah. And they'll come in threes. You know what I'm saying? True about that. And come in threes. If you know somebody that passed away, get what? You gonna know two more folk that gonna pass away. That's it true. just happened like that. Yeah. It's just how it come. Yeah. But we come here to do stuff and we come here to leave. Not saying we're not coming back. Yeah. But that's just how it go. So that's great. I wasn't really, you know, I just felt like it was it was sad, but in a sense it was it was still in a good way. You okay. know what I'm saying? It went high. Nobody it was a deeper knew. meaning. Right. I got you. Okay. Respect. Well, he, he in the spirit now, so guess what? He helping little guy to do what he need to do. Yep. We had Quanta Bands up here, too. It's BM up here as well. He, he helping everybody. Daughter. Yeah, their little daughter. Talented you know what I'm saying? Club. He helping them. Yeah. He going to make sure they do what they need to do. That's real. He going to be right there with them. He the light for them. That's you real. You know what I'm saying? So it just happened like that. But get what? Long little kid, man. Long little kid. For sure. For sure, man. Yo, I know you're looking at this episode and you're feeling it right now. But look, stop real quick and make sure y'all like, subscribe to our channel. It's the progress support. Uh, so earlier you was talking about just drugs and stuff like that. So yeah. talk about that. Like, at what point did you stop doing lean? Uh, I don't do nothing. I just smoke weed now. Good. You know what I'm saying? I just smoke weed. This a herb. This ain't even a drug. This is it's a herb. So I feel you. Ain't nothing that gonna harm me. But uh, I just stopped it because I felt like, you know, I had a lot of opportunities that I messed up at the time when I was doing what I was doing. You mm. know what I'm saying? Like, I went to New York. I had some stuff I supposed to do with an artist. I ain't even gonna say his name, but he okay. big, he he so big to the point where I was on drugs so bad that I didn't have no lean and it, it had my stomach in knots and stuff and I couldn't kind of like function, you know what I'm saying? I really needed it, the lean to be functioning and you know that stuff and purposes like you don't need that stuff, man. Shit strong as You gotta cool. keep that stuff out your body. That stuff ain't good for you. I don't care what they tell you, man. You don't need that. You drink you some water, eat you some fruit. You know what I'm saying? Think like health is wealth. You gotta be healthy in order to be wealthy. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta get yourself together when you know doing what you're trying to do for yourself. Yeah. So you know, I went through that phase. I feel like that was the era of drugs. For the artist, yeah, game. it was absolutely. <laughs> it most definitely was because you gotta think about all the people who was out around that time. Yep. Like, yep. it just was like the era of artists is on drugs. You know what I'm saying? That's literally true. <laughs> That's true. It was, <laughs> it was so normal. It was, right. it was kind of abnormal for a nigga not to have a double cup. Right. Literally. Right. Like that was super true. Yeah. Uh, what would be your message to your day one fans? You know, the people that day still stream all the man, get what? other shit. I ain't shit. gonna lie, man. Shout out to everybody in Atlanta, cause all this time, and these folks still love me. Mm -hmm. No matter where I'm at, trying to hide myself. Mm -hmm. I could be at the grocery store. I could be in the mall. Mm -hmm. I could be anywhere, bro. They gonna notice me. I don't care if I get my hair braided. Like, <laughs> Go ball, people gonna be like, know. "Hey, man. Yeah. Hey, boy, that lot old man. Hey, man. This one man in Greenbrier Mall told his son, like, "Hey, boy." You don't know who this is? So his son like, nah. He like, so you want to be a rapper, but you don't know who this is? Mm -hmm. He like, man, this Atlanta right here. Straight up. Like, you don't know him. So he doing this in the mall, right? Yeah. I'm so like, I'm trying to get up out of there. shit. He like, nah, man, come here, man, come here. <laughs> I had to go there. I'm like, yeah. hey, man, appreciate the love, bro. I appreciate you. He like, nah, man, I'm trying to tell my son, but you the real Atlanta, man. He like, man, I don't know what he talking about. He talking about he want to be a rapper. He said, we finna go home and look at all your videos. Since he say he want to rap. His son was like 14, yeah. 15, something like that. But I was like, wow, you know what I'm saying? Like, people like that keep me going. Hell yeah. Y'all don't know how many folks in the city that be seeing me and like, hey, bro, Absolutely. the streets need you. Yeah. Hey, boy, we waiting on you. Hey, boy, when you going to drop? Yeah. Man, what going on? What's up with the music? Mm. Like. It's every day for me I in Atlanta. That. So I love Atlanta. I love everybody in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? Everybody who done did that. I love y'all, man. If y'all mm. see this, just know. 
hey, we going up. Y'all the one put me back in here. You know what I'm saying? And got me back in line with the people I need to be in line with. So appreciate y'all. Man, I'm happy for you. And like I said, <laughs> I, I ain't know what happened with the Instagram, but I know I reached out at least probably four times. Like, nigga, let's do an interview. Let's do an interview. Yeah, it makes they sense. Stole okay. It. They stole. You know I would hit you on. Nah, for sure. I'm like, let's you out of anybody. Oh, man. You know I ain't finna do you like that. But you know, it's just perfect timing. So I'm, I'm happy that you got a great team. Yeah. I'm sure. happy that, you know, just even with your mind, you 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 see what's going on. You oh, know what yeah. you need to do. Yeah. So I love that. And let them know your new Instagram page, please. On the Real Lotto Savage. Real Lotto Savage. Yeah, the Real Lotto Savage. The Real, okay. The Real Lotto Savage I like that. on Instagram. And we got to make sure we get the people in to with see. Me, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Like I said, the new tape is finna drop. Okay. It's called Unfinished Business. I like that. So y'all be on the lookout for that. I like that. DJ Cut, though. I love my plug. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Capo again. Shout out to my family. Shout out to my girl, my babies. Yes. Uh, all my, you know what I'm saying? My mamas, my mother in law. Love that. You know what I'm saying? Free with my father in law. Sure. Everybody else in the family that, you know, who I see every day. Shout out to Polo. Got to say his name, cause he gonna be mad. Shout out to Polo <laughs> Savage, my brother. Love yeah. you too, nigga. Shout out to Lil Wo, and we gonna keep it going, man. Y'all yeah, know right, what's going man. on. Lotto Savage, progress report, bow. Bow! <laughs> now listen, my last question for this particular interview, cause I wanna keep doing these with you. Um, so, you know, I gotta ask you what our keyword progress mean to you now. I know I asked keyword you progress back then, mean? but yeah, what it mean to you now? It means, uh, the keyword progress means like, progress is something that you have to come from the inner self because mm. it's a progress every day that you wake up because it's changed within yourself and it's a change for the better not for the worse you got to think about progress is a good word so i mean you're progressing in life you're progressing with your character you're progressing with your spiritual journey you're progressing with your financial wealth you're progressing with uh, just waking up every day and getting to breathe, you know what I'm saying? So when you think about progressive, just think about that, you know what I'm saying? And ask God, that, that like, thank God for the progressive stuff that's going on in your life each day, for the progression is uh, you having an interview with progressive, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, hey, I like me? that, I like stuff that. Like that. <laughs> so, you know, sure. Stuff like that, you know, stuff like that. Like, it's, yeah. it's something that you need to, you know, that's a good word to have around you. You know Absolutely, man. So the progress report, yes. hey, they giving it out to you, man. They giving it to you, so you got to tap in with them. Got to, got, got to. to, man. Well, should I appreciate you? This was amazing. Yeah. Um, and again, like I think you know, we was having this conversation off air on just you know just Atlanta, but this feels good, and I yeah. really do want you to keep pushing because that's what we need. Like, Thank I just you. feel like the the right people need to get back into the mix, yes. and, and you know what I'm saying. Yes, so we please, do. please, stay we can system. help. We can help. We can help it I, like, no, I agree. in the right way. I agree. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure. trying to do something positive. So I ain't going to be the type of person that get it and don't give back. So, you know, I got I'm going to be the person that give back. So we're going to get it and we're going to give back. Absolutely, so man. Help. You know what I'm saying? Show. Sure. The Progress Report.